Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to build a rotor cannon. So what I've done here is just slapped down a little battery just so I can convert this thing to a station. Now I'm just trying to uh, set up one little rotor here. Just for a second. Uh, there we go. So we're going to need about nine of these and that should make a rotor cannon that can fire about one and a half kilometers in atmosphere but outside range is really unlimited so there we are nine uh, nine rotors long that's what we want right there okay so we're just gonna hop to the control panel of this battery here oh very important make sure you know which rotor is the one all the way on the end because uh, we'll get back to that one later just make sure I'm just grinding this down so I can see it in the control panel a bit better Okay, so just gonna hop back into here, go down to that, name it rotor F, rotor fire, you can name it whatever you want, it's just important that you know which one is which. There we are. Then we're gonna group these all together, very important, you need nine groups here. Just group them numbers one to nine. You'll see why we do this in a minute. There we are, so just gonna name a bunch of groups and it should be all good. Setting up a rotor gun isn't necessarily hard, more tedious, as I'm sure you can tell by now. Okay, at six, at seven, eight, and nine. There we are. So, that's that done. Now we just need to add two timer blocks. If you're using a advanced rotor cannon, you might want to use three. Okay, so just gonna place those two down. And we'll just set those up in a minute. Might as well weld this back up while we're at it. Okay, so we're gonna go into here. We're gonna go into timer block one, or just timer block, and set up the actions. So the first thing we want to going to do is go to rotor F and attach a rotor head. Okay, now we're going to want to trigger now timer block two. Then we just need to go through pages two through four and set up the increase rotor displacement command. This takes a little while, but I think it's worth it for the power you get from this cannon, which we'll get to in a bit. So I'm just going to set this up, do bear with, do bear with. As I uh, mentioned earlier on in the video, this doesn't take any particular skill other than patience. Anyone can build one of these, anyone can set one up. It's just a matter of being patient enough to set up the cannon in the first place. As you can see, it takes a while. So we're on page three now. We're going to want to go through groups one through nine with this one as well. There's two. Then we are going to do a test just a little bit later. Do you bear with? Okay, now on this page, what we're going to want to do is just only increase the displacement on the first four of these groups. 
I'm not sure why this works, but I've noted that this creates good results. Okay, so now we're just going to go to timer block 2. And one of the first things we're going to want to do once we actually get into this uh, little guy is just um, go to rotor F, if I can just take a look at that. There we are. So we're going to detach the head. And then we're going to go to page 2. And on rotor, well, not rotor, on timer block 2, sorry, we're just going to want to go through all of this and decrease the displacement. Okay, so there we are, there's three. There is four. And five. And just like when we were increasing it in the time of block one, we just need to decrease it this time. It's the same layout. Obviously, if you wanted to convert this into a machine gun, all you'd need to do is just make sure that um, time of block two triggers the first time of block as well. I might post a video of just a fully automatic rotor gun if this one does relatively well. So we're just going through. We're on page three now, so we should be done relatively soon. While we just have this little bit of downtime, I'd encourage you to like and subscribe to the channel, because it really does mean a lot. Okay. We're on number five here now. Six. Seven, eight. Coming right up. Now, as I said, all we're doing here is just decreasing the rotor displacement. And there we are. We just need to set up the four groups now. So that's one. That's two. Three. And four. And that's all we really need. Now, all I need to do is just, uh, just do a little, uh, button. So just gonna slap on a light armor block there, add a button, and the test is coming up. I'm using the one panel button, but you could use any of them. So all we need to do now is just set up timer block one to trigger now. While um, you're doing this, it would be a good idea if you're setting up a machine gun to have a button to stop as well. And there we are. I'm just going to slap on a uh, light armor block so you can see that it works. I'm going to press the button and there you are a fully functional rotor cannon. Now what we're going to do is, oh, okay, so um, we're back for a actual test. This time we're just shooting a plain old rotor. This block here is about seven blocks by seven blocks and made out of light armor. Let's see what my cannon does, shall we? Just need to go over here and press the button Let's just uh, make sure we have a nice good view of this. There we are, and fire! As you can see, there is a extensive amount of damage there. It's gone about four blocks deep, this large grid light armor, which is a good amount of power considering the resources and effort you put into this.